of your battery life left. So these are generally rated for about 500 insertions. Um, so if you see the red light, you've got about 10% of your battery life, you've probably got about 50 insertions left. So you still can use it, but you just have to you know, get a new driver. So if you're playing around with these in your rigs and you're practicing and stuff, each of these, that's an insertion. Every time you play with it, just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So it, it's 500 it's A little downtime between, between calls, drilling your partner. Right. You just, uh, Toss it. Toss it and get a new one. Yeah. So the drivers you're, you're going to keep for a while. 500 is a long way. Yeah. So listen, now it varies because you guys are out in extreme temperatures where they're out in the rigs or in the fire trucks. You know, cold weather, warm, you know, that affects the battery cycle. And some of them, so it might be more or less depending on what's on. In the hospital, it lasts long. Though. You guys are outside in the heat and the cold in the extreme temperatures that might shorten the battery life a little bit. It's a new driver. I told you. you guys ready? Can you all see? Find your landmark, go through the skin first, make sure you still see the hash mark, and make sure you're perpendicular to the bone. You're not going at an angle like an IV, you're going 90 degree true. angle. Yeah, better look out, dude, if I start swinging. <laughs> Where's Jerry? <laughs> so I, you're going to feel a poke, I go through the skin until I hit bone. You hit bone, make sure mm -hmm. you're perpendicular, make sure you still have a hash mark, and advance it. You're in. You feel it drop in? Right? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I got a little cramp in my toe, actually. <laughs> So, oh, dude, that feels weird as hell. You can almost, you hear, you yeah. can almost hear the RPMs change a little bit. When, when it went in, you could hear it sounds different. And it also dropped in there. You feel I that could, loss of resistance. I but you feel it like down on my toe. Really? That's weird. <laughs> there are little branches, a little special. You can try to ask me. Yeah, you'll feel it. Other way. That's not supposed to happen, actually. <laughs> Let me drill you in the sternum. You can't use the drill in the sternum. It's right. not FDA approved for sternal no. use. Even with Jerry? Even do you with want Jerry. him to aspirate a little bit? You want to try it? I'm going to see. Make, so first thing you do is make sure. First thing is make sure you're firmly embedded. So he's in there. Okay. So it doesn't. Does that hurt when I move it? No. Not really. So once you're see embedded, his leg moving back and forth. I'm in there. I, it's embedded in the tibia. So it's a good spot. I very. It looks like he's pretty good. And uh, he's perpendicular to the bone. Now, one other way is to aspirate slowly, mm -hmm. really slowly, and you'll get venous-looking blood come back into the tubing. It might hurt a little Deep bit. Deep breaths, probably. To stop if it's too uncomfortable. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, there you go. Does that hurt? I mean, it's I can a feel it. Dull ache. There we go. Oh, See yeah. that blood, guys? Mm -hmm. We can send that blood off at the hospital for labs. I send the first about, you don't get as much blood out of the tibia as you can the humerus. I can get 10, 20 cc's out of the humerus most of the time. Um, but the first don't cc or two. Don't yeah, don't flush it back in. Don't flush it back in. We're just like spinning, on, we're spinning on that needle over there in the that. corner. So that's. Great way of verifying you're in the right place. So and take then, your syringe off, and then now you're going to have to take it out. Take so your syringe out. out. What about it? Got, uh, we have a big, we hand him that big sharps oh, no, container, please. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, let's pay down your hand. Wait a question. So insertion pain was what? From zero to ten. Did you guys already say that? Three. How about three? Yeah, three, four. No, turn clockwise and pull straight back with some force. Just pull straight back. Keep turning and pull back, straight back. Keep going. See, it's harder it's than harder humerus. Than you know why? It's a weight-bearing bone. The cortex is thicker. Did it hurt pulling it out? It's not even uh, it's like a pulling sensation. Yeah. <laughs> Less than the insertion pain, usually. Hold that right there. How you feel? Good. Put a little pressure on there for a bit and a band-aid. Not as bad. I, I, I wasn't real sure about like, like feeling it go through, but it's like it's pretty odd. It, does, pretty it takes yeah. a little bit longer when you're doing mm -hmm. it on somebody real than doing it on the practice bones, but you still feel it. Mm -hmm. But try the humerus first. The proximal tibia is a good second choice, and then I'd use my distal tibia as kind of a third option as a last resort. Um,